Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different and we're going to talk about 10 things that I've been doing in isolation to make the most out of it really and just keeping myself busy. What I'm going to do is give myself a task each day to do or over the weeks and maybe just try something new as well like that's the whole amazing thing about this is the fact that We've got the time to actually try new things and go back to things that we did when we were younger like if you had a hobby or whatever like i've been doing painting i've actually had time to read i've picked 10 things that i've been doing in isolation that makes me feel good and just kind of it's fun first up painting by numbers my lovely friend fran got me this we've had to have our wedding postponed to october fingers crossed She's been keeping me busy and she sent me a few things to be cracking on with, which I have. And I can tell you, this is so therapeutic. So it's painting by numbers. And this is where I'm up to at the moment. How cute is that? So it's a little um, illustration and you get these little, um, what are they called? Poster paints, I think. I've not said that since primary school. Poster paints with them um, in all the colors and you just follow the numbers and you paint away. And it is so therapeutic, I can't even tell you. It actually takes longer though than I thought. I need to finish it. Another lovely present that I got off Fran is this little punch embroidery set. How cute is this? Like I feel like this goes really well with the theme of my room as well. So I wanna like hang that up once I've done it. I think I started it when I was watching Tiger King. Again, if you haven't seen it, watch that, it's mental. So I've based my pattern on Lanzarote because that's like where my second home is and me and Leah get married there. So these are the instructions you get with it on how to do it and you just make your own little um your own little pattern so you can literally create anything it can be random it can be a shape that you want to do i just did the lanzarote landscape so i've literally started it so i'm going to do that pink and then do the rest in the neutrals so again another thing i've started but not finished next on my list is adult coloring books if you're not into painting drawing's probably better for you so i've got this one which is the vogue coloring book the girls got me this quite a while ago i think i actually haven't used it yet but my nieces have as you can see they've had a go themselves which is so cute i love that <laughs> bless them they've got loads of bits in here so loads of little doodles you can do vintage vogues and stuff which i love so I'm gonna have a go on that when I finish my painting by numbers. But I know Oliver Bonus do some fab ones as well. They do like the mindful adult coloring books, which I think obviously is so fitting for now and would be great to do or start if you're not into painting. Highly recommend. I tackled one of the biggest jigsaws I've ever done. And it was the Disney Castle. I have it with me. But sadly, it's not built anymore. So I'll put up a picture so you can see what it looked like. Here we are. I absolutely loved making this castle. It's only 216 pieces, which doesn't sound a lot, but it's the middle section there, which you can see, which takes the most time because that's like the solid bit that you're building. And then you've got all the, what are they called? Towers and stuff that you actually build up, which are bigger pieces. So that was really fun. I enjoyed that. Sadly, I don't have it built up anymore because it took up too much space and I needed to just cleanse the flat and I didn't know where to put it. Jigsaws is a great one to take mind off things. I literally zoned out while I was making that and it took me like half a day, so winner. Winner. As you can see in my corner, I've got a lovely section of books that I've been reading because this is the best time to read, honestly, before bed. I always have a shower before bed as well put my moisturiser on, get into bed, read, and I have the best night's sleep. I'll talk through the ones that I'm reading now and the ones I've read. Fern Cotton's Calm is a fab one to read. If you just like, you just need to chill out and you just need to kind of take yourself away from what's going on and how you're feeling. She covers everything from like breathing techniques to like calm within families, friends, everything. So the sections in the book, which will be really relevant to you as a person. Yeah, loved that, really, really liked it. And it's just a lovely read, especially at night. So I highly recommend that. If you're a fan of Me Before You, read this. I love this book so much, honestly. It's just such a lovely story. And I, I just love Jojo Moyes' books anyway. So that is a lovely little summer girly read if you fancy something a bit more lighthearted. Oh, this book reminds me of being on holiday. I read all of this while we were in Italy 
And I remember we just went to, went off to some of the parks and just laid there and I couldn't put this book down. It's so good. Like, she just nails the whole 21st century relationships. I feel like everyone could relate to this in some way. So read that, absolutely love it. I'm currently reading Adults, which Fran lent me. It's so funny, I absolutely love it. So I feel like if you want to pick me up and a bit of, a bit of a laugh and a bit of fun, read this one. And another one Fran gave me is called Such a Fun Age. I've not actually read this yet, so this is on my list after adults. But I've heard great things about this book, so yeah. Give it a go, guys. Give it a go. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I'm obsessed with this little device. I can't actually show you what I've done to my things, because I've basically done it to everything. That doesn't make sense unless I tell you what it is. It's a debobbler machine. I have spent hours debobbling my jumpers. So now Lee's giving me his stuff and his stuff is so much worse than mine so it's so much more satisfying. So you've got two settings. As you can see, all of it is in there. Um, there's a long and a short setting. And these are Lee's really bobbly shorts. Look at that. Look at them. Take a look. I've literally done a section here. I don't know if you can see, but the difference. I mean, I shouldn't have used black as an example, it's pretty bad. So many bobbles here. And then you literally turn on. I've just done that little patch there and then the rest is all bobbly. It is so satisfying. So that is literally, I think, like seven pound off Amazon. And I don't know why, it's just a, mundane thing that I like to do, but it's fun. Send me your jumpers, guys, send me your jumpers. The thing I've been doing is organizing all my skincare. So I do have a lot of skincare and it's in my um, in my bathroom. I have like two cupboards. I'll show you the pictures in a minute on here. I literally took everything out and then put everything back. So I did it like hair products, skincare, and that I'm like kind of using, don't really use a lot. And then my main products that I use on the bottom shelf. And it's just so much easier in the morning, just grabbing all the bits that you need and it just looks so much nicer. Even if it's on your dresser, just organize all your bits, get a few like baskets or something um, to put in your drawers, have like divide, drawer dividers and just pop everything in there. It just helps you, again, feel more organized and cleanse. You wanna create like a calm, a calm home. That's what another thing we've been doing recently is just, we just put up these shelves and kept it really like minimal and relaxed in the bedroom because it's like we spend so much time in like the kitchen or the living room then you want to come into the bedroom and be like right zen sleep read relax another thing that i've been doing is cleaning my makeup brushes because i hate doing it it just takes forever but we've got all the time in the world now so i use the nyx on the spot brush cleaner which is really really good I usually just put a piece of tissue down, spray it um, on, and then just wipe the brush. Tissue or cotton buds, anything like that. It's a perfect time to do it, because you're not, no one's really putting much makeup on, says me. You might as well just get them clean, ready for when we can go outside. Another thing I want to learn to do is nail art. I've just done a cute little, it's not nail art, but I've just painted my nails in these cute colors. Um, these were kind of gifted by a brand called Weathered Penny, and they, they do the most beautiful colors. I literally love them. Um, so it's this lovely like pistachio green and this like really soft nudie pink. So I'm gonna learn how to do that. Maybe watch a few tutorials on YouTube actually, because I've never done it before. But if I manage to do something really cool, I'll video it. If not, well, at least I've tried and I've spent time doing something fun. One last thing I would recommend is doing a Zoom call with your friends or family. Me and the girls have been doing it every Sunday and it's just been so nice to see them. Obviously, there were men who come to the wedding. I've not seen one of my friends, Ali, for like seven months because she's been in Australia, so it's been really hard. Yeah, it's been so nice just to see them. We did a little quiz as well, which was fun. And we're gonna do another one this Sunday. Obviously, I've got the Disney category. I actually still need to do that, so that's on my to-do list for tomorrow, is create a Disney quiz. But yeah, do it with friends, do it with family, even if it is just like a quick 20 minutes. I was even on the phone to two of my friends for like four hours the other day, and it was just so nice. Literally just having a few drinks, having a chat. Um, just staying connected, it just helps so much. 
But yeah, that's what I've been up to. I've narrowed it down to like 10 or 11 things I think I did there. Just keep yourself busy. It doesn't matter if you're not motivated every day because God, I can tell you now, on Monday I just was in the foulest mood and I just didn't want to do anything. And that's fine, you can have days like that. Everyone's gonna feel that. Even if you just literally have a day in bed watching telly. If it's good for the soul, guys, bloody do it. Read a book, paint, draw, whatever. However you're feeling that day. Just look after yourselves and stay safe. And this will all be over soon and we're one step closer to it all being done and when it's done we will have the biggest party ever. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get a little bit of inspo from it and anything that I've featured, if you want to know anything more about it, just drop me a message or comment below. Have a great day guys. I'll see you soon. Stay safe.